Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to fetch all the data that is present in the table in PostgreSQL database with the help of Node.js as well as Postman. So let's get started. So already I have written the code for making the connection as well as posting the data and if you want to watch the entire tutorial of this, you can just click on the card that is appearing on top. I have explained it in a very detailed manner. So now let's get started with the video. So I will just explain you the code at first and for this we will be requiring two packages, one is pg for PostgreSQL connection and another one is express from Node.js. So this is the connection things that we have, connection variable, uh, localhost, Postgre, the port number, the password and the database name and this is the connection and this is the post function that I have already written. So this is fine and we are just starting the server on the port 3000. So in case from PostgreSQL database side, here is the database that I have, demo post and you can see right, demo post. And inside this demo post database, I'll be having schemas and inside this, we'll be having our table. So here you can see we're having the demo table and we'll be fetching that data from this table. So if I go, we want to data, we want to get these values, okay? So that's what I'm going to show in this video. So let's begin. So we need to go here and it's going to be app dot get and we need to specify a path for that and another callback function. It's going to be request comma response arrow function like this. And the path that I'm going to give is fetch and just come inside. First thing is we must have the query. So it's going to be const query equal to this is going to be a simple select query from SQL. So it's going to be select asterisk from your table name. So in my case, the table name is demo table. So just put it over here. That's it. This is basically the query and come to the next line. It's going to be your connection variable. So in my case, this is my connection variable. If you want, you can just pause the video and type this code. Okay, not a will take hardly five minutes. Yeah. So this is my connection variable and I'll go here and put connection variable dot query. So this is a function. So if you want, I will rename it to fetch query like this. So this is a function from our connection variable and inside this open circular bracket, we'll be passing two parameters. One is our fetch query. So it's going to be fetch query and another one is a callback. So it's going to be error comma result. So this result will have the data that is present in our table. And in case if we get any errors during our fetching process or connection, it will be caught by this error variable. So another callback function. So if error, we can just console the error or send it. Let me just send it as a response. So it's going to be error. And in case if there aren't any errors, which means that our fetch process is successful, we are just going to send the data response dot send result dot rows. So if you want, you can just have a console dot log results and check what else all the data that we get. I'm just directly fetching the rows and sending it over here. So this is a result variable and that's it. We are pretty much good. Uh, this is just the listener. So this is basically the code. That's it. And let me just now save it and run it. So it's going to be node your file name dot JS. So everything is done and I will go to my postman. So we need to have like this, you need to have here get, make sure that you're changing this to get and uh, no need to have any body, just have it as none. It's going to be HTTP, not HTTPS, uh, colon slash slash localhost, you need to specify the port number, which we have over here. And also this path specified here also. And make sure that you have a table and uh, with some data already inserted. I have already done in that post video that I had mentioned earlier. So now I will just send it. Here you can see I'm getting the response. So that's the video guys. I hope you have found this video useful. Do check the playlist of my channel. Done a lot of videos in CRUD operations in Node.js, Spring Boot, MongoDB, MySQL, PostgreSQL, as well as Gemini AI, API, OpenAI, API and other AI tools. So subscribe me. Thanks for watching.